Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name's Garrett, and today we are going to be making Sonic. Now, this one's actually a little bit special. So, you guys know Travis, right? Over at A-Pyro Design. If you don't, you should probably fix that. So, Travis and I have actually been talking for quite a while on um, some sort of collaboration. We didn't know exactly what we wanted to make. We just both knew that we're huge video game nerds. So, we were just sending emails back and forth with a ton of different ideas in them. And eventually, I think it was Travis sent this one. And this one is actually perfect because if you've watched Travis's stuff, you know that he is the Logo Master. His main series is Logos to Life and I mostly do characters. So this one was absolutely perfect because the logo has a character in it. I'll show you the whole assembled thing towards the end of the video, but make sure that you watch Travis's video. I will link it down in the description and I will put it up in the eye towards the end of the video to remind you guys to go over and watch that and he'll show you how he created the actual logo side of it. So I think that's enough talking. Let's get creating this guy. I'll be using Fusion 360 to create Sonic here, and I mostly use the sculpting environment, the forms where I can actually click and drag around um, the different shapes. I do that for all of the main shapes on Sonic's body. I start with some stretch spheres for the head and the body, and then some cylinders for the um, legs and arms, and I used a box for the feet and the hands. And then the spikes were actually made out of cylinders that I stretched out and closed off at one end to make pointy. Overall, the process was pretty straightforward. It was just trying to identify the big main shapes, get those there, and then slowly work down towards the smaller details that make Sonic what he is. This is one of the few times I've ever made hands on a character. I think this might only be the second or third time I've done that um, in Fusion. But surprisingly, it works pretty well, especially for a character like this that has pretty cartoony big hands. Then once I had all the main body shapes, I started actually sculpting out the pose. Um, and now I contemplated doing this to begin with, but I decided not to, um, just because I wanted to make sure the main body shape was there before I tried doing anything fancy with how he was oriented. Then after I had the pose and all of the main shapes there, um, I went in with a sketch to add in the details like the um, lighter patch on his stomach and the facial details like his eyes, his pupils, and the little smirk that he has for a mouth. Now I normally don't mention this until the end of the video, but um, this is by far the most complex organic um, character that I've ever made in Fusion 360. It took more than 10 hours to complete the model itself, and most of that was just due to me um, fidgeting around and trying to perfect the shapes. But I'm actually pretty proud of how the model came out. There's a lot of intricate details and different processes that I use that are actually very handy. So if you want to see this entire modeling process slowed down um, so you can actually kind of see what's going on, I'll have a link down in the description to the full modeling file um, just sped up slightly so it's not massive and 10 hours long. But there you should be able to see each step that I take if you're interested in that type of thing. Then I sent it over to Simplify 3D to get it sliced up. I knew that I needed a lot of detail on this. So I went with a 0.1 millimeter layer height, and I printed pretty slow just to make sure that all the details came out. Um, this model requires a ton of support, and the support is actually very hard to get off. It took about 31 hours for this model to complete, um, and then I took off the supports, and then my wife filed and sanded the crap out of them to get them perfect. And I actually ended up breaking off one of their feet accidentally, so she glued that back in place, and you can't even tell that it happened. She's amazing like that. And then it was quite an interesting process collaborating with someone like this because um, there was obviously some blues on Sonic that were also in the logo so my wife had to communicate with Travis and uh, make sure that they used the same blue color to um, get Sonic to look right because she actually had to change the color of Sonic as you can see here to match what Travis had put on his logo. But after she had all the sanding and priming done she just began painting it with acrylic paints and a paintbrush and that amazingly steady hand of hers. And of course she also had to make two of these since we were keeping one and sending one to Travis. But as always, she did an amazing job. And 
and after all that work, we have Sonic. Alright guys, well there you have it. This is my first design collaboration, and I think this is really cool. It's a subject matter that both Travis and I love, and I think it really plays off of both of our strengths. And Sonic is like my wife's all-time favorite game, so it's a win-win-win. Also, fun fact, did you know that the original um, thoughts for Sonic had him being from a small town in Nebraska? When you live in Nebraska, you take all the wins you can get. Alright guys, well I hope you liked this. Um, it was super fun for me to do. Um, I will be making the Sonic files available, links are in the description, and I believe Travis said that he will be making the files for his part available as well. Um, if that's the case, I will put those in the description as well. And then, of course, make sure you go watch his part of this, because he does some really cool stuff. There's even some like sublimation and stuff back here um, in order to create his part of the logo. So click the little eye up in the corner right there and it'll take you right to his video. It's completely worth it. All right guys, well, you know what to do. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hit that thumbs down. Um, get subscribed if you haven't already. And any shares that you guys throw our way um, are greatly appreciated as well, because we did put a lot of work into this. So of course, we'd like as many people to see as possible. All right guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.